Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Peter Kennedy, Kennedy's Garage Porto. We start out with, oh no, it's back. The Audi A6 that I put an EGR cooler in about four days ago or so is back in my workshop with a fault. <clears throat> This is not a very interesting video, but I'm going to show the good and the bad. So the bad is where we have a return and the car didn't or wasn't fixed on the first occasion. So the last occasion, what I had was a P0299, which was a turbo underboost fault. And I also had do, 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 a P2002 fault, which I diagnosed as being an EGR cooler blocked. Now the EGR cooler was blocked and I did show it being blocked. Are restricted on the last video it's actually still sitting over here inside in my box of uh, crap crud okay so that's that she's back today we have a p2002 back again which then would make you think in the immediate have i misdiagnosed or done something wrong here but also we have a P0471. And the only reason I'm showing you this is because it's what I think is so cool. So straight away, as I said, your question in your work. And then I went straight on to diagnose Dan. So DD TSB, diagnose Dan TSBs, which is technical service bulletins. Now I'm not doing a promotion on this, but I have to show this because I think it's, it's pretty, pretty interesting. So in Diagnosed Dan, or on Diagnosed Dan's TSBs, I have searched, put in the car, and searched P0471. So I didn't go looking in the media for my P2002. I just was happy with what I've done, but what the heck is going on here? So that, when I searched that, I'm going to scroll down. And it's talking about, in detail here, if you want to try and read that, pause and read yourselves about our exhaust pressure sensor A. When I scroll down, it's actually showing an image of our engine. It's also show showing us an image of where our pressure sensors are and going into a bit of detail there. So the, the, the G450 pressure sensor is here. That's for the EGR cooler, or e low pressure EGR um, pressure readings. But then the other one, the G4505, is for our diesel particulate filter pressures, which is only looking at atmospheric pressure, if you can see that little rubber hole sticking out there, and the DPF pressures. Now, if I scroll down and I'm reading through this, and again, if you want to take a screenshot there now to read that, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit further, I think I got the most of it, but the detail in which DDTSBs go, goes into here is, for me, brilliant. It's showing where the pressure sensors, it's talking about some of the pipes going onto these pressure sensors could be blocked or restricted. When I roll down a little bit further and show me where the like, DPF pressure pipes are coming out across up and up to our G505. It's rolling down then a little bit further. And when we get down as far as here, if you want to take a screenshot there again, you can. But when I roll down and look at that G. 450 pressure sensor it's actually pointing out stuff which to me is so awesomely cool so it's showing pipes coming down here and that pipe that runs down here is coming down around here onto that air intake neck i think i was calling it on the last question and the arrow is pointing down to that piece there so that pressure sensor pipe runs down and fits onto that the other side goes down and onto our EGR system at the back of the engine here, looking at, again, exhaust pressure in our EGR system. But if I roll out to the car, and it's going into savage detail, like this is, is really, really awesome stuff when you're in here and looking at it. It's just, yeah, showing so much stuff in there, which is, cool when you see what I've seen. So I never had a P0471, but I do today. We know, I know what the problem is right now. So there's that pipe that the DDTSB was talking about on the G4, sorry, it's G450. Yeah, and the 505 sits on here. I have both pressure sensors disconnected. 
And I was checking the pipes as diagnosed Dan TSBs was asking or saying or suggesting or whatever you want to call it. On that pipe down here, I just checked, which is going on to the, that little plastic air intake, Nick. Look at this. So I'm now pulling a vacuum on this. She's blocked and are restricted solid with my little pipe running over and on to that pipe. But I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull off that. Okay, back up. So that pipe in that neck, that DD TSBs is pointing out, is blocked. Did I disturb something? Was there carbon in there or something? And then when I took off items, put back on items or whatever the heck it may be, did I disturb something to create or cause this problem? Or was this fault floating around somewhere with it, someone erasing faults or something that I didn't or wasn't aware of? But lo and behold, we have a restriction in that pressure pipe. What it says is, is that it, these cars use both pressure sensors. One for the pressure, as I said there before the DPF, and then the other one in the EGR system, and also is taking, I suppose, before pressure from the air intake system, which should nearly be just atmospheric. And I was looking at live data. My live data was giving me, in the EGR system, um, pressure, and I was seeing minus or negative numbers. Now, I don't know if that's to do with that restriction or what, but I am, um, yeah... Going with TSBs, DDTSB, and that pipe is blocked. And that's pretty on point for me. That is, yeah, pretty, pretty awesome, I believe. But here's where we're at, and this is what we're seeing. We're just having to get them Batman. Flew and borrowed after flying. It's supposed to be too cold outside for um, But yeah, not that that matters. But the long and short of it is, we found the problem. It's back. Oh, no. You never want to see these. You can't make or earn money when you get return visits because return visits are free. And when they're free, you don't get paid for your time. So no one kind of likes those items. But that's where we're at. I'm gonna see what's going on in here. Try and see if I get that pipe clear. But that's just so cool the way DDTSBs have it. So on point. Okay, I'm gonna find this restriction. Get that blockage gone. And I'll touch base with you in a second. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. We have in there, I couldn't really get in. I couldn't get a clear enough or a straight enough run to get in a drill bit or any of that kind of stuff with the bulkhead in here. So I've taken off the pipe. I was thinking, would I just maybe try and get in, you know, a small drill bit or something in through it to try and clean up the inside of it? But I didn't. So what I went for and I chose the best route I got, I actually, just a piece of tying wire, heat it with a map gas. So whoop, got it hot and then sent it in. And in she went. At this point in time, Mitty back sitting in place again. Pipe connected back up and back onto that pipe. And lo and behold, we can um, not pull any vacuum. Now I can, and I have already, or primarily. So you can hear that. That's only just me blowing with my mouth. Um, yeah. Are we done? Put it back together, get it out, do a couple of miles again and make sure we are after hitting the nail on the head. Feel confident on this one. Mm. Okay guys, I'm after doing an extended drive cycle again to um yeah just see where we're at. So distance since DTCs were raised is 42 kilometers. So we have to put up 42 kilometers in it since I cleared that pipe out. So all my drive cycle monitors are done and we actually just like escape it there, are done and dusted. Probably, I probably caused that, if you can see it, because I, yeah, I don't drive them too easy, I suppose. Give them a test, try them on, see what happens. So I'm not concerned about that. I'm not concerned with the central locking unit or any of that crack. But in engine control module, we have no falls back, so. That was a pretty, pretty nice information from DDTSBs. Again, not a plug for it, not getting any guidance out of this, but it is invaluable. When you get into these yokes and you have a fault or you want to, maybe a bulletin that you want to look up or something like that, it is very handy 
to have on newer stuff, you know, because I think lads from all over the world are giving kind of hints and tips to DDTSBs and uploading data for them and information, which is fantastic. So, Diagnose Dan did it again on this one, lads. P0471 and a 2002 DPF efficiency for Look, see you on the next cartoon. And getting close to Christmas, so when I throw this out, I don't know, but happy Christmas to you all. Thanks for watching throughout the year. And happy Christmas and a happy new year to you. See you in the next cartoon. See you later, guys.